come prepared, come self-sufficient, but please donate to my GoFundMe. Shut those elders the fuck up. We're trying to decolonize over here. Anytime someone disagrees with me, I just call them a hanger on the fort or a blue Lakota, Lakota or a soft ass Indian. I can't wait for the next terrible thing to happen so I can go and insert myself into the crisis and speak over other tribes and families, stir up a bunch of shit and leave. I love when I check my Twitter feed and I see something I get to be offended by. These damn elders and medicine people are damn hanging around the forts. I hate stereotypes unless they're positive. Then I can romanticize and look for the next crisis to where I can compare myself to Sitting Bull or Crazy Horse without doing any work in any local communities. I stood for Standing Rock so long, I stood against Standing Rock. Please donate to my GoFundMe. Every January 1st, July 4th, Easter for some reason, and Christmas, I take part in the most pan-Indian wokest Olympics on Facebook through my iPhone that Edward Snowden showed that the FBI is watching to a bunch of followers who may or may not be FBI but I'm more decolonized than you pan-Indians that try to erase individual tribal identity eating pan pizza listening to pan production podcasts um, eating pancakes for breakfast there's a lot of pandemonium. Fuck. Thanks to my Twitter bro for that one. Anyway, I look forward to your not that sacred responses, your think pieces, your posts, your statuses, and calling me a hanger on the fort.